What is the most dangerous fair? Hi, I'm your favorite dysfunctional scientist and I have broken this down for you. It's getting really hot in there. We'll break it down by most attacks. And in order to understand this topic, you have to understand there are roughly 1 million black bears in North America and only about 45,000 brown bears. Turns out black bear and brown bear attacks happen around the same rate, around 11 to 12 a year. Granted, it's much harder to keep track of black bear attacks because they usually don't make the news and they're usually not a big deal. Since the start of the United States, there's only been 67 confirmed attacks that resulted in a fatality from a black bear. If we are to believe that there is indeed 12 attacks a year, that gives you a survival rate of roughly 92%. Black bears are in blue, brown bears are in tan, and you can see polar bears up there in purple. Black bears can be between three and six feet tall, and they can be as light as 90 pounds and as heavy as 600 when they've been eating a lot of trash. Now we did take a 200 pound animal and turn it into a chihuahua. If I ever win the lottery, I'm going to start a pet black bear breeding program. Next up we have grizzly bears. Brown bears stand about eight foot tall and can weigh a thousand pounds, but usually they don't make it much past 800 unless they're very fat. There are 200,000 brown bears worldwide and there's 40 attacks a year. Most of them happen in Europe and that's only because Russia exists. If you are unfortunate enough to run into a brown bear and get attacked, you have about a 14% chance of not making it. Although I have seen some stats as low as seven, and if I run just the raw numbers, it comes out to about 11. While the US keeps pretty good tabs, other countries may not necessarily. And I will say from what I've read, the attacks in Siberia seem to be a little bit scarier. Most of the time, they don't hunt you, they're omnivores, they're not looking to you as food, but yeah, getting attacked by an 800 pound animal isn't good. Polar bears, technically your lowest chance of survival is when you're attacked by a polar bear. There's usually less than one attack a year and as many as seven on some years as we are encroaching on their space and they're encroaching in ours as the ice melts. Polar bears are the only bear known to hunt humans regularly for food. Of 73 recorded attacks in North America and 20 fatalities, you actually have a pretty good bet at surviving. However, those stats include people who were prepared in polar bear territory and knew that they were a threat. If you're just walking down the street in Alabama and you run into a polar bear, I don't know how well it's going to turn out. It's actually kind of funny because 20% of all bear attacks happen from not wild animals, so pets and potentially zoo animals, but more likely a pet. The most dangerous bear of all is one that prefers to eat fruit. Yes, the sloth bear. These guys are found around Southern Asia and they have to fight tigers. The reason that tigers have eyes on the back of their ears is because the predator they're worried about is sloth bears and potentially other tigers. In the last five years, there's been over 700 attacks. 48 were fatal and your chances of surviving are higher if you don't run. You have a 9% chance of not surviving if you fight, and you have an 11% chance of surviving if you decide to run. These guys have really bad tempers. There's also only 20,000 of them, so they're picking up a lot of slack with those stats. Toe to toe, you're less likely to survive a polar bear attack, but you're far more likely to get attacked by one of these guys.